Hey, 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 friends. I am Kenzie. I am a big Sims 4 fan, and I like to write about the Sims for hub pages and level skip, and I like to make YouTube videos about the Sims 4, like my build tutorials or my 100 Baby Challenge game. And now I want to take on a challenge from The Sims Sparked, the Sims competition reality show that aired its first season this summer in 2020. And the challenge I want to try was a create a sim or a cast mode challenge called Gender Not Required. The challenge is to create six original sim models, different in size, shape, gender, age, ethnicity, with gender fluid fashions, and you have 45 minutes to complete the challenge. So I did it and I put it here on high speed so you can see what I did. I'm using my phone timer because I don't have an online uh, or on-screen pop-up timer that you could see. So I did time it for 45 minutes and I came in just under the wire, but basically I started by popping six Sims on the screen and then I got to work just customizing them. Um, for the first one, I decided to go with a, a man, but then I decided to go with a transgendered female. So I changed it and I'm so glad because I love the way she came out. Uh, I decided to give her a masculine look still and, and a really buff body. It kind of reminded me, I saw the movie To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything recently. I saw that when I was younger, but I saw it again recently and I was like thinking of Wesley Snipes because he looked so hot in that movie. So I went with that kind of look, that buff feminine look. And I decided because we're supposed to do a cohesive collection to go with kind of basic whites and blacks and add splashes of color here and there. And that's the easiest way I think it, in this kind of a time challenge. Cause you know, 45 minutes barrels down to a little over seven minutes per sim. And, and I usually take a lot more than that when I'm being picky and really trying to do a good job. So that was, that was really the hardest thing for me was to try to stay within my time limit for each one. I also tried to pick outfits that not only were kind of flattering, but that some outfits were more androgynous, some were more to one gender or the other. I'll tell you that one thing I had a big problem with, which I think a lot of people have a big problem with, is this makeup. Dark skin tones, unfortunately, they don't do so well, and a lot of Sim fans are kind of uprising, demanding better skin tones and swatches, especially for people of color, and better makeup because even if you find a skin tone that you're satisfied with this makeup, look, it just doesn't doesn't go well on it. You have to really like scrounge around and look and try different things and it just doesn't work as well. They really need to get on that. They really, especially when they're doing these kinds of challenges in their reality show. And at the same time, we're freaking, we don't even have the proper tools. So I moved on to my next sim. Oh, I also uh, gave her a name and a walk and just tried to complete it. My next sim. I decided to go with a male and I decided to go with an elder male because I thought like uh, we'll do age diversity as well. Just like body type diversity and style diversity, we'll do age diversity. So giving a little bit more of a party look and I don't know, I kind of started getting a little bit of a maybe North African, Middle Eastern vibe from him as I started working on him and I like that. And uh, I decided to keep him bald just because bald is cool too. And... Um, trying to come up with a good outfit for him and I thought of that outfit I don't know it's just really funky and cool with the low drawers and I just like the idea but I was have, having a hard time kind of trying to keep with that whole black white and splash of color cohesiveness it, I just wasn't entirely happy but I just had to go with black white and red so I will stick with that I think for the majority of the rest of the challenge and guys are a little bit easier to do because they don't wear makeup. But then I thought I'd toss on a little makeup on him anyway because we are doing a gender fluid challenge. So, And then I remembered. I, I almost forgot to give him shoes. But he took longer than I thought he would. I was getting a little bit picky with him, especially with his outfit. But I kind of like the way he came out. This whole family kind of came out cool. I put them in the gallery under the gender bender household. So if you want to download them and play with them because I kind of... Had fun with this household and uh, you know I, I think they would make a fun group to play with so getting to a woman here uh, i was starting to get a little bit of um 
Hispanic vibes from her, but then I thought, well, why don't I make her a little bit more androgynous? Not necessarily transgender, but uh, someone, you know, a woman who likes to be sexy and feminine, but also put a little bit of masculinity into her style. A little bit of masculinity into her style. And uh, I played around with a couple of different outfit combinations. I wanted to give her a suit, but I wanted to give her a feminine looking suit that also looked masculine and it's something you go out in a party with or you know maybe even a little tweaky to make it a little formal but I gave her a little hair with the color stripes in it a little edgy look to her and uh, decided to give her a little bit funkier makeup instead of just something that was traditional straight shooting I like her I like the way she was coming. I added a hat just to give her that, I don't know, glamour Hollywood type feel. So there she is. And then I decided to change the color and, and go more with black because it just looks better. But I gave her, of course, gorgeous red shoes. And then she's got the red earrings, the red lipstick and the red hair tips and red jewelry. So... She's got that pop of color and she's ready for a night on the town and she's thick and looking gorgeous. Next, I moved on to this guy. And as I started working around with him, I started thinking Asian, but then I thought maybe I don't know. And then I went back to Asian and I just decided to stick with Asian and make him an Asian young male. And I started thinking like, you know, K-pop and stuff like that. But then I decided to go androgynous make him very effeminate so i made him really skinny because so far i made people who were kind of thick I have, and one person who was slim but buff so this is, this is my slim but non-buff <laughs> and uh i fussed around with the lips for a little while i was having trouble getting the face just the way i wanted it but i i think i finally got it to where i wanted it where it kind of reflected the feminine features but at the same time uh definitely still looked like a guy and I tried a girl's hairstyle on a female hairstyle on him so he was very you know very it got very gender fluid with this one finally I got to the point where I was fussing with the face but it finally started coming together and blue eyes I thought just popped with the black hair and again we're trying to go for diversity here so I gave him the guy liner and a little bit gothy, I started getting the vibe from him, so I decided to put on some black lipstick and give him a little bit more of a gothy style, but something a little fancy, something for a night out. And of course, uh, gotta give him some boots, some heavy tromping boots. And this is my fourth Sandman. I'm still on time track here, which is really good. I got down to this one and I started thinking, what haven't I done yet? I've done elders, I've done adults, I've done young adults. I need another young adult. Maybe I'll just do a female who is more androgynous, like my last male was more androgynous, but I'll give her. And then I thought I'd give her a sporty look because I don't, I don't have a lot of casual or sporty looks. So far, I have all like evening wear and party wear. So I started messing around with the hair and I accidentally clicked pink and then I realized I love it. <laughs> so I decided to give her the pink. And as I played around, I came across the rainbow striped leggings, which I thought, yes. And I kept playing around. I put a male sweatshirt on her, but I kept switching it around. I decided to give her a really short, since I gave my androgynous guy a female hairstyle, I decided to give my androgynous female a male hairstyle, and I came across the mohawk, and let me tell you, the pink mohawk is freaking working for me. I love it. So I went on to my last person, I realized I only have one elder, I want to do another elder, and then I said I have a transgender male. I have a transgender female, why don't I make a transgender male? So I decided to make him male. Um, Working on that body was a little hard because I didn't quite want a pot belly, but I wanted 
him to be a little bit thick. And then I found the tattoos and I, it just remind, reminded me of an, uncle, an old uncle of mine. <laughs> and uh, he used to live in Florida and he, had, he was into fishing and he had all the tattoos. And so this was my inspiration for him, my uncle. And I played around with the features a little bit, tried to make it that female to male transgender look, but also elderly, which I thought was a really cool idea played around with the hair a little bit and I thought yeah I'd probably just have like a straight type of old man haircut and then I had trouble I actually went back and redressed this one because I was like what would an old man wear and I almost went for plaid pants and and then once again I realized well I'm getting a little too dressy I can't see this guy as being very dressy a snazzy dresser or anything like that so I went back and I redid his outfit just like within the last couple of minutes counting down gave him a wedding ring thought of him as married and very happy fellow but then I went back and did a little bit of tweaking and I had not given some of them aspirations or traits so I did that and that's when I went back in and, and changed my old man's outfit here and gave him something a little bit more sporty and casual so he he balances out my young androgynous female. There you go. And I like it. And I gave them all different walk styles. And I gave them all first names that were completely randomized. But it was like the randomizer was with me. The randomizer just came up with the right names that sounded good for most of them. And I trusted it. And then I, I gave them the last name, Gender Bender, and I put it up in the gallery, like I said. But I don't know. What do you think? I kind of like it. I kind of see them as a really cool group, maybe living together in some kind of artist colony or something like that. But yeah, I think it came out pretty good. And I think the fashion styles are kind of cohesive. So tell me, what do you think? And did you try this challenge? And if so, uh, why don't you tag me or put the the name down below in the comments and I'll check it out in the Sims gallery. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cast challenge and I will see you soon.